In the late 1990s, secondary schools in Nyeri County like Tetu High School, Gia Kanja Boys and Gashada dominated in national championships and produced reputable players in top clubs in the country such as former Kenya men's national team coach Paul Gitao and former international Moses Wadi. But over time, priorities changed and Nyeri lost their way. <laughs> Volleyball ilikuwa na chese wa nyeri, ilikuwa naenda vizuri. Lakini tagu vilabu inaitwa Telecom, Posta na Stima ziliwacha kusponsa. Hakuna mtu alikuja kuchukua hii nafasi. One of the biggest obstacles today, like in many parts of the country, is infrastructure. Kamukunji Stadium, which was the home of volleyball in the county and attracted thousands of volleyball lovers, is now a market. Hapa nyeri, if you want to see it, we are here at the Zote na kaa kama simekuwa occupied na male na vitu zingine ambazo zi vitu zinayohusiana na mambo ya michezo kama kamkunji grounds siku hizi ndio soko There is light at the end of the tunnel and the game might be on the path to recovery organizations such as Bezietu have begun facilitating volleyball tournaments in the county to breathe new life into the sport and nurture upcoming talent we've decided to bring the volleyball tournament in uh, Nyeri knowing that uh, Nyeri is the bedrock of uh, volleyball and it's just a nice place where we can also go and tap in uh, young tunnels and give an opportunity Nyeri governor Mutai Kahiga has also promised to give Kamukunji Stadium back to the players upon completion of Asian Quarters bus terminus that will accommodate more than 1000 traders. Mukami Wambora reporting for Citizen TV. Yeah.